Hey guys, and welcome to the tutorial for Let's Play Grandia 3. Last time we began our adventure, this time let's reacclimate ourselves to the Grandia battle system, which has moved from a straight bar like thing on the bottom to a circle thing on top. Now, there is a game called Grandia Extreme, which was a battle centric dungeon crawler that was released in between Grandia 2 and Grandia 3 that uses a very similar battle system uh, with the ring and everything. It very much works the same as it did in Grandia 3 or in Grandia 2. It's just, it looks slightly different. Um, so it's not too hard to kind of acclimate yourself to it uh, coming from the previous game, assuming you're familiar with the previous game. So basically your character symbols are there. When they get to the command area, they get to enter their commands and the enemies are on the outside of the ring this time. Uh, what that does is it's going to make things a little more complicated in terms of, uh, you know, trying to determine when you're going to get there and when the enemies are going to get there because your circle, because it's on the inside, is smaller than the enemy circle on the outside. So it's a little bit different, uh, but uh, it's kind of actually more confusing, but not too much. All right. And just like in the previous game, we get our basics. We get a combo attack, which is a couple of uh, a couple of basic attacks. It'll deal two hits instead of only one. And if we want to only deal one, we can deal a stronger critical hit, which has the uh, chance of canceling an enemy, which they'll get into in a moment. Stop them in their tracks. I'm going to kind of go through this relatively quickly because I don't want to uh, spend forever with it. Choose either a combo or a critical. Well, let's go with a uh, critical there. And of course, it's not going to work, but that's fine. Now, this game does have AI, as you see with the fair play down in the bottom left there. So Miranda is controlled by the AI for now. If we select magic here, we can cast a basic spell. Let's burn them. Now, in a sense, they've actually made uh, the battle system both simpler and more complicated at the same time with this game. So it's, uh, it's kind of interesting in that sense. They've gotten rid of some things and added some other things. So let's see. We also have our special moves, just like we did uh, before. Moves use SP. Now, the one unique aspect to SP is, is well, we use it for our, uh, our special attacks as opposed to our magic spells. Well, in order to uh, accumulate SP, you don't get it back at save points or ends or anything like that. In order to generate more SP, you need to either be attacked anytime you take one hit, or regardless of the amount of damage, you gain one SP back. When you attack the enemy, one hit, so with a combo you hit twice, but with one hit you get one point back. If you use the defense command, which we haven't really uh, shown off yet, but if you use the defend command and you're, you take a hit, you'll receive two per hit, two SP per hit to accumulate it. You'll get it naturally as you just stand in battle, not like this, but when you're going around the, uh, the IP gauge on the wheel there. Um, and there are also some items later on that will, uh, that will heal it as well. Now, you'll notice that they have removed the evade feature. We have flee, which does exactly what you think it does. Um, it's actually pretty fast acting in this game, so it's nice. Uh, strategy, would change the eye. We can't do anything with that yet. Don't need to do anything with items. And magic and special moves. Yeah, we don't no longer have our, uh, our nice evade feature right. that we had before. We did it! The game will keep track of a lot of things for us, so we won't have to worry too much about trying to, you know, figure a lot of things out, but... Ah, we gained a skill level. I will go into those in a little bit here. We've, uh, we've got some more time to uh, kill and some cutscenes to watch for a moment. Of course we did. 
There was a, a girl in that carriage. Hmm. Beautiful golden hair and long ears. Ah, an elf. How observant. I love her smirk in her portrait. You know, they, they change some of the uh, character uh, emotions in their portraits, and some of them are just for comedy. Hers actually kind of suits the character that she develops as we kind of see a little bit more of her. But, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoy, you know, his contemplation thing almost seems like he's almost depressed. So, yeah, it's, I don't know, some of them work and some of them don't. You're not really thinking of going back, are you? You got me. We gotta go find the girl. All right, then. You're the boss. Wait a minute. Why? All right, yeah, we can go in here. Um, you can use magic in your uh, screen here. If you have healing spells, we don't. She's got Tremor. We've got Burn. Tremor hits all enemies, just so you know. Go in the Equip menu. They'll show you a basic thing, what you can do. Um, let's see, our basic weapon is a wrench, we have a jacket on, and we don't have any of these, uh, mana eggs. I'm just gonna kind of skim through these because what they say in there doesn't particularly matter, and I can explain it faster when we eventually get to it. Accessories, do what you think they do. Shoes raid our initiative and our move. Uh, initiative has repa replaced the uh, speed stat from Grandia 2. So it's basically the exact same stat. Attack is physical attack, magic, magical damage. Defense is physical defense. Resistance is magic defense. And move is how much you move around on the battle. Uh, initiative, of course, is the speed with which you get turns on the IP gauge. Armor, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, nope, I wanted to go on that one and run through. Yeah, for whatever reason, they give you a basic tutorial thing each time you check things for the first time. Here's a list of your special moves. I will go into more about those in a little bit too. Here's magic, and here are skills, which we don't have yet. And we also have some items, including a uh, revival potion, 50% uh, revive, and an healer, which we don't really need. Here we got a bunch of things, whatever we have at this point in time. Ah, AI strategy. Let's uh, set you to setting manual and setting manual. And now I control what they do. I. Uh, don't even remember if I ever leave that on or not, to be quite honest. They have battle records, as you can see down at the bottom there. The amount of damage you've dealt, the amount of hits. Uh, aerial combo I'll go over later, don't worry about it. Anything else around here? No. Okay. Yep, you got your ass kicked. What else do we got over here? Can you see anything to do with the plane here? No. All right. Let's go for a tour around here. Let's see what we can find. Ah, there's an enemy there. Uh, one thing of note, if you press a circle button, well, they're not going to let me do it yet. Never mind. I was going to show something off that we don't have access to yet. I'm sure we got more tutorials to deal with. Or not. All right, so what do we got here? Uh, she has two different uh, special moves here. Dagger Slash. Uh, the first one that all characters get is pretty much their cancel ability, just like Grandia 2. Uh, it's usually single targeting and will cancel an enemy's uh, attack. Uh, secondary ones are a little bit different this time around. Sometimes they're single targeting, sometimes they're multi-targeting. Let's go with the uh, Dagger Slash here. Get ready for a little Little slice and dice. Little slice and dice. Ha! Nice. Stings a little, doesn't it? Hurts, don't it? Ha! Not so there we go. We got to cancel. Uh, they'll go over that in a tutorial in uh, a moment or at some point anyway. There we go. Hey, Defeating trying? all enemies without taking damage, you get 10% of your SP restored. That is the other way you get SP back in this game. Um, doesn't really matter right now because 10% of our max SP when we only have 60 is only 6. It's not that high. But 
later on when we get, you know, 180 uh, SP and 200 or whatever the max is in this game, I don't remember, uh, then it's quite a bit more. You get 20 or 18 per battle. And when, no, no not magic, uh, when your moves only cost 25, you can get away with using some of the weaker ones in battle for almost free at times. But yeah, the, uh, the basics of the battle system, uh, they removed the evade command from Grandia uh, 2, but we're not really going to use it. Pretty much if you have SP though, uh, you're going to want to use your uh, abilities. And I'll go into why uh, once we actually learn something, they'll uh, show us something in a bit here that we'll have access to. So that's your basic one. Again, it's a counter, or it's a uh, cancel attack. Yeah, you have to deal with uh, movement in this game. So if the enemy's moving when you try and attack, you're not always going to be able to hit them. Why not make things easier for everyone? And As you can tell, way. Miranda is a lot more powerful than Yuki is. And we get our magic level up. I'll get into that in a bit, as I said there. Let's see. Roam around at night. Ooh, treasure. You're giving me a tutorial on how to open a treasure chest. Seriously? Now, the stupid thing is you can't pick up an item from the side. In order to get it, you have to approach the very front of the chest and run into it. You've already got nine of an item you won't be able to pick up anymore. Yes, the maximum number of any particular item is nine in this game, which is completely different from previous games. But uh, use triangle to open a menu and check some stuff out. Alrighty then. So skill books, what they do is you have... Uh, no, stop that is you have uh, three different types of skills, as you can see over there on the right side there. We have the heart-based skills, which I think are mind skills. We have the sword ones, which are... I can't even remember what the hell it's called. And then we have the arm one, which are body type skills. The other ones are combat skills or... Tech skills, there you go. Tech skills, it is right there and I'm blind. Uh, we don't want to uh, give that to you, though. We do want to give it to you because it'll up her uh, Lizard Hunter ability. Basically, we get Hunter abilities in this game. Lizard, Beast, Demon, Verse. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Uh, and Undead. No, that's that they include that in Demon. Um, and what that'll do is, depending on the level of boost we get from our books, it'll deal more damage subsequent as the uh, amount goes up to that type of enemy. It'll be indicated by a little uh, check mark uh, next to the uh, amount of damage we're dealing, so kind of be aware of that. All right. I'm going to try and go over all the basics, well not all the basics, but a lot of the basics for the combat system early on. So if there's anything that you don't understand or something that I didn't explain properly, let me know in comments and I will try and either get back to you in comments or in a video next time I get around to uh, addressing it. Makes sense. He's applying logic. From what I know about him, Kind of surprised. Let's go. I love her smirk. Uh oh. I heard something over there. Come on. It was somewhere around here. All of a sudden, it's bigger. You don't suppose? Come on.
Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah. How many times does that have to happen in video games, anime, movies before it just becomes a tired cliche? I like it already is, I know, but seriously, why does that have to happen? Just be creative when you come up with places for people to hide instead of doing stuff like that. It's just lazy. Question. Who's the Tron guy? Uh, it's you. That's enough, Alfina. Uh, okay, so she's got a name. Does he have a name? Uh, we can't go past this way. I believe that was probably toward town, maybe? I don't know. Hey, look, they provided me with something free. Walk over an item, and you can get it. And eggs, what they do is similar to uh, books. Books will raise one of the different types of skills. Uh, eggs will boost one of the basic types of elements. Uh, now, they've reduced the number of elements from previous games. I think we had, like, wind and lightning before. Now they're both the same. Uh, we had non-elemental before. We never get non-elemental. There's just fire, earth, water, and wind. And that's it. Uh, water is, of course, both uh, water and ice now. So just in case you were wondering. And then putting a point in here gives it a boost to that elemental spell. So it'll do slightly more damage. Uh, you can get anywhere from one to three points on any of these boosts for eggs and for skills. And that'll increase the amount of damage you uh, get out of them subsequently as it goes up. So we'll give it to him since that'll up his uh, ability there. Uh, let's hit the, uh, save point since we have it here. I have, uh, saved over all of my, uh, practice files there. Uh, which way was I supposed to go? I don't remember. So yeah, for now I'll leave a lot of the, uh, the battles in just so that we kind of learn more about them. For a little slice and dice. Now obviously we're going to uh, run out of SP before too long. But uh, once we do we'll just use normal attacks to finish enemies off. But if you have SP early on you want to use it unless you're expecting a boss fight. So there we had Sway. Sway indicates uh, just the chance that you were able to evade the enemy, which is nice. That nice kid. Come back when you learn how to fight. Awesome. And our special level up. Hello. Now that our special has leveled up, do I have enough SP left? Probably not. Oh, no, I do. Now, depending on... Actually... Yeah, so... Oh, nope. Didn't get it this time. Yeah, when uh, you get to a certain level uh, with special, you have a chance of unlocking a new special ability when you use the combo ability. That was pitiful. Come back when you learn how to fight. Alright, so we got a little bit more there. Uh... Is this the dead end that I'm looking for? Or was it up there? Nope. That wasn't the one I wanted to do now, but that's fine, because there's no more items in here anyway. Uh, what is it? Let me through. Move aside, Raven. You're making it harder for yourself. 
Reconsider, Alfina. My mind's already made up. I... I have to see my brother, Raven. But he doesn't want you to live the life of a communicator. Well, uh... Even if that's true, I still have to see him. Very well. Get away from that girl! Miranda to the rescue. Yuki! And all of a sudden he has a sword. He had a wrench before. you one more time. Are you going to change your mind or not, Alfina? Just completely ignores them. No. I have to know the truth, Raven. I must. I need to find out about my brother, myself, and the future. The future. Very well, Alfina. So be it. I know what I have to do. But there isn't much time. He's got magic teleport powers. Definitely got teleport powers. Uh, are you alright? Did he hurt you? I'm just fine. Watch out! If we hang around here much longer, we'll probably run into more of those weirdos. Let's go back to the village. Right. Yeah, they, as far as I remember, they never address what was going on there. Like, they, they address parts of it, but not all of it. And specifically, what that character Raven was actually doing. The medical herb. I think I left some of the. Well, we just stole some from the house, but anyway, let's hit this and uh, get the recover going. As I said, we don't get uh, our SP back. As you can see, I recovered my HP and my MP, but my SP is still low. So you have to kind of judge how you're going to use it, especially if you know a boss fight's coming. You can't just go and easily recover it all. So uh, just kind of be aware of it. But early on, we're going to want to do a lot of uh, using of our special abilities because uh, basically we level them up. And I'll go into that once it actually happens and give a better explanation of it. There we go. Head up to the garage. Let's go grab some of that medical herb. Well, uh, where'd everything go? Rats is gone. He left already. Mm-hmm. Darn. All right, and if you go over here, you get the herb. Normally, you don't get the jingle when you get a basic medical herb. But, uh, yeah, let's hurry back. All right, we'll just head back down there and continue a little more, get a little more progress going. God, I love this area. So calm and peaceful. Even if you have to listen to Gladys over here spreading rumors and... No, where is she from? Being chased from some guys in the woods and we helped her. <laughs> Something mysterious. Maybe she's a fairy. Kind of ironic considering later on, but never mind. <laughs> All right.
Here they are, Miranda. Hmm. Thanks. Hmm? Well, Yuki? What are you waiting for? Go in and see her. Go on. Huh? Uh, oh. <laughs> His reaction's hilarious. <laughs> Like, here's the cutscene. Oh, yeah, she, she's in Miranda's room. She, the, no one tells you that, but. I'm coming in. You couldn't paint her as any more of a love interest, a could you? Fragrance. Hmm? Oh, they're herbs. Hmm? Well, um, this is called chamomile. Thank you for saving me last night. My name is Alpina. Uh, uh, I'm... Yuki, right? Miranda has already told me your name. <sighs> I'll get up. <gasps> well, there you go. Is something wrong? <laughs> oh, they don't waste time. <laughs> or we can just break the uh, laws of time. Uh, nothing. nothing. <laughs> Never mind. See, I love that. Now, let's look at that leg. She's smart enough to go, oh, Here, okay. This should do the trick. Hmm. Nice compress. There we go. Say, would you mind telling me something? Why were you being chased by those men? I was... I was just trying to get home to Arkriff. Are you talking about Arkriff on the mainland? The place that has that enormous temple? Mm-hmm. So you don't know who they were? Or do you? I don't. I'd never seen them before in my life. And that guy in black? Um, no. He's, um... I understand how you feel. But you have to get your rest. You don't want to get all bruised up now, do you? Interrupted the awkward moment. Good as new. <laughs> well... We won't ask any more questions, okay? Yeah. And we'll take you part way if Mendy Harbor's good enough. No, thank you, but I can't let you do that. Well, Yuki, what do you think? Yeah, count me in. That settles it. We'll be ready to leave in two or three days. Thank you so much, Miranda. And you too, Yuki. <laughs> hmm? It's Gladys. We'll check it out. Stay right here, Alfina. Don't move. <laughs> can, can, I, can I please leave her to, to be killed by whatever's trying to kill her? Please. I, I, I don't want to go save her. But yeah, Miranda, already we see her character. She's interrupting awkward moments by just, you know, helping ease things along. She's facilitating this relationship that is obviously brewing between these two kids. And she's helping out Alfina by getting her along when it's not safe for her to be traveling on her own considering she was being chased just last night. And she's injured. All of this is done within the first hour of the game and we've already seen how intelligent and thoughtful this character of Miranda is. And we see Yuki is a bumbling buffoon. Yay for protagonists, woo! Anyway, I don't want to go save Gladys, so I'm going to save, and then I'm not going to go save her, because that's pretty much all the time we have for today. Next time, we will continue and save Gladys. Yeah. Anyway, till next time.